water is like pink and red back there. My name is Jackie and I'm super enthused. Today we're at Hopewell Rocks on the Bay of Fundy. The Bay of Fundy is famous for its extreme high and low tides. During low tide, you can walk all the way out on the floor of the bay, but you better hightail it back before high tide because the water comes all the way back up. We're here during the peak of low tide to walk out on the floor of the bay. We're ready to go. We have hiking sneakers on. We have sandals in our bags. I don't know what to expect. I've seen pictures and videos online, but we've never been here, so we're really excited. You guys ready to go walk on the bay? Let's go. Here we are at Well Rocks. Rocks and beach are very slippery. 10 to 15 minute walk, half mile, no problem. We can do this. We can do it. We're about to go walk on the ocean lower. Knowing when the tides are high and low is an important part of visiting the Hopewell Rocks. High is red. That's going to be around 9.30 tonight. Lowest is right around, oh, right now. Hi Roxwell. See you later, buddy. Hi Roxwell Jr. Here we go. Start of the walking trail. You can also get a shuttle, but it's a 10 to 15 minute walk and it's a beautiful day, so this very beautiful walk. Here we are, Hopewell Rocks, otherwise known as Flower Pot Rocks. Wow. Flower Pot Rocks come in a variety of shapes and sizes. They've been formed over millions of years by the dynamic movements of the earth and erosion from glaciers, tides, snow, ice, and wind. 300 million years ago. Gypsum workers, 1907. So recently, two years ago, one giant rock fell. We read about that, that was in 2016, elephant rock fell. Some of the larger ones may stand for thousands of years, others for hundreds, depending. Here we go. Time span is six hours. So we can go walk on the ocean floor. There's the up, there's the down. We're going down. Wow, here we are, walking on the ocean. In just a few short hours, we would be under the ocean standing here. And you've got to be careful. It's really slippery. Hopewell rocks. Wow, the rocks are really beautiful. And it's so cool. To be able to walk here, you really got to be careful though. Flower pot rocks are so beautiful in person. And they're huge hard to capture so hopefully the GoPro is doing its job in capturing the majesty of these rocks. Warning, danger, unsafe area, rock falls do not enter. Little pockets of air that allow them to stand upright in the water. So this would all be normally standing up and floating in the water and it just kind of sinks back down. They're called flower pots because they look like flower pots and they've been shaped that way over millions of years. And we can't go in because it's unsafe conditions right now but I can look in. That one looks like it's ready to fall at some point. It could be a hundred years. How you guys like those rocks huh? Great rocks. How'd you like getting a plant in the face by all the rebels? It's great, right? Free exfoliant. Exfoliation, right? It's like a free free mud mask. We all got like a free mud mask just now. Free spa treatments and hopo rocks. Ah, looks like a profile. Looking at the animals. What does it feel like? Well, the dried out one feels like plastic. Yeah, it looks like plastic. It feels like so fake. This is Disney. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like Pirates of like the Caribbean. That looks wet and disgusting. It smells fresh. It smells clean. So clean. Like the cleanest smell. It looks dirty, but it smells like the cleanest thing I've ever smelled in my life. Hashtag seaweed wall. The walls of Instagram. Walls of New Brunswick. Come on. Help me out here. Let's make this catch on. Let's make this a thing, guys. Bunch of circles. Did Mickey 
as we're getting pelted with rocks and dirt, we're moving forward to look at something funny. For those who are foolhardy enough to make their way out here, to walk on the ocean floor during low tide at the wrong time, for those with very poor timing who did not think this through, you get stuck out here and the tide comes in, that's where you're gonna wait. You go up there and you wait and you think about how foolish you are. The first time we've had a whole area to ourselves. It really does feel like walking on the surface of another planet. Besides the fact that there are tons of other tourists all around. But I can imagine on a more quiet day, it feeling that way. strange feeling down here, like you feel so small and everything feels so grand. And the ocean air is a different type of ocean smell than I've ever smelled before growing up in Florida. It smells so clean and fresh. You can smell the trees. It's just amazing. It's indescribable. by tons of rocks and pebbles. So just be ready, but it's part of the fun. Being pelted in the face by rocks and pebbles just kind of adds to the sense of adventure. sorts of travel and fun. Join me here every week for fun and adventure. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay enthused. Bye. Oh, 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 oh wait, one more thing. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. See you next time guys.